criteria is the next level up from a pass. If you want to gain a merit for your assignment, you need to meet all the pass criteria, but in addition, you need to go into greater depth to meet the additional four merit criteria. The first merit criteria asks you to evaluate the benefits of management and accounting systems and their application within an organisational context. In other words, how do these systems help businesses? There are many management accounting systems used in organisations. The most popular are cost accounting systems, inventory management systems, job costing systems and price optimising systems. You can explore how they help organisations generally or use one company for your evaluation and give specific examples. You can also consider some of the benefits of different types of accounting systems. In what may ways might they lead to better decision making by managers or support more effective internal control systems? How might management accounting systems enhance the quality of financial reports, improve performance measures or facilitate financial transaction processes? Consider some of the negatives as well. Automated systems are only as good as the data that is inputted. Information systems can't always deal with complex transactions. A system may crash and a company lose its data. An accounting system may not be compatible with other management information systems within the organisation. The technology may be fragmented. To meet merit criteria too, you need to accurately apply a range of management accounting techniques and produce appropriate financial reporting documents. You need to apply at least three management accounting techniques and produce financial reporting documents. You could use marginal and absorption costing that you described under pass criteria three. There, you had to calculate costs using appropriate techniques. In this section, you need to use those calculations to produce financial reporting documents. Just as a reminder, absorption costing is the method of building up a full product cost by adding direct costs and a proportion of production overhead costs by means of one or more overhead absorption rates. Other costing techniques you could, you could consider here include normal costing, standard costing, activity-based costing, cost volume profit, flexible budgeting and cost variances. Merit criteria three is concerned with planning tools. Analyse the use of different planning tools and their application for preparing and forecasting budgets. These tools might include PESL, SWOT, Balance Storecard or Porter's Five Forces and are used to analyse the internal and or the external business environment. The information gathered can be used to identify internal and external trends during the strategic planning process. For example, a care home may conduct a PESL analysis and realise that the government is planning to invest more in the healthcare sector. The care home will use this information to anticipate future demand and then forecast any future investments that may be needed. Finally, merit criteria four. Analyze how, in responding to financial problems, management accounting can lead organizations to sustainable success. The emphasis here on sustainable success. An organisation may use a number of tools to identify problems, including benchmarks, key performance indicators, budgetary targets, and variance analysis. Based on the results of these analyses, the organisation may implement different plans. For example, variance analysis may indicate an organisation is spending a large proportion of its budget on warehousing. The decision maker can use this information to decide whether to continue with their own warehousing or use third party warehouse facilities instead. The important thing to note here is cost 
and the business environment is constantly changing. So using these tools often enough and at the right time is essential if the organization's success is to be sustainable.